Well, you know what was interesting, and I think this is, and it's actually very similar to what I felt growing up as a kid. You would be in one situation, you'd be at a school, and maybe you would be a kid who wasn't very popular, and no one thought you were, you know, very interesting or something. And then you'd move to another school. At that school, everybody would think you were interesting for some reason. It would just happen, and you think like, well, I was the same person. I haven't changed that much. So but it's the just perception how people, of you has changed. The perception has changed. And now the perception of you has changed after all of them. So, and that, well, and so that's what happened to me too. So after 10 years of doing television and theater, although people don't see the theater, so they don't think you really exist, they see TV, people thought, oh, she's a TV actress. And then I do work with Andre Gregory and Louis Maul, and I work with you know Robert Altman, and I work with Todd Haynes, and suddenly I'm a huge film discovery. I'm in this amazing... You Everyone know, wants you. Yeah. And then I'm like, I'm the same <laughs> the same right. thing. So I think oddly what happens is that you don't change a perception of yourself. You're like, well, clearly it's just, yeah, other people's perception. It solidified my own work ethic. It, that it doesn't matter where I'm working. Did you feel that be, the way you grew up fed this in mm -hmm. terms of you being, because you had to reinvent yourself? Yeah, well, and also... You were, you were seen by a fresh set of eyes yeah. again and again and again? You, you just, you have to discover a core self and a core, a core sense of values, and people kind of poo-poo and say, like, oh, TV, uh, or oh, this, or that. And I'm like, you know, nuh-uh, nuh-uh. Yeah. It's all valuable, all of it. You know, yeah. Even so when I do just, radio announcing. It's important. Like, it's, that's work right. is work. It, work is work. I and owe them my best. And, and it's also, it's, it's valuable for you to do your best, no matter where you are. Are too. I really, really believe that, you know, in everything you do. And I also resent it when people say that they can't do something like they can't, they were terrible waitress. And I'm like, why? Because you weren't paying attention? Right. You're supposed to write down what I yeah. said. So it's, it's important no matter what you're doing to put effort into it, I think. Did you have a good representation during that time? I did. Well, it's interesting. I ch I've been with the same agent now and the same manager for 20 years. My first 10 years, I did change representatives a few times before I landed where I landed. My first agent was it was terrible. It was, this, it was an agency called Heseltine Baker. Do you remember I, them? I, I, Star Heseltine. So they got me out That's of, how old I am. Out of I school. Star you know, Star Heseltine. So they, they pu pulled me out of school. It was a big deal to have an agent. And I had no... Auditions at all. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It was a big deal then to have an agent. Yeah. No one called my answering service. No auditions. And then I got a phone call. Um, Bob, isn't it Bob Heseltine? And what was it? Who was the guy? Anyway, I remember the guys. But one of the big guys called me and said he had something really, really important and a great opportunity for me. And I got so excited. And he said it was for a friend of his. They needed a girl to fit in a costume to ride on a float in the Thanksgiving Day Parade. <laughs> Do you remember what the costume was? I don't. Maybe it was a turkey. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a super hot that turkey. A, a red-headed turkey. A red-headed turkey. And that's when I was like, this is ridiculous. Thank you very much. I'm leaving. What advice does an agent give you? Oh, people, they don't give you any advice. They don't. I don't think They're more so. like air traffic controllers. I they think make so. deals. Well, here's the interesting thing that I think about acting, and I hear this from I hear this with young actors and stuff too. And or when people would say in the press, they say, "I didn't choose that. You know, my agent chose that for me, or my agent said I should do it, or so and so made me do it." And I'm like, "That's baloney." Isn't it? No one makes you do anything. Isn't it interesting when you run into mm -hmm. that type of person who's yeah. heavily, heavily coached by agents and publicists, right. which is such an, a foreign thing to me. Yeah. I mean, you know, it is your life, you know, and it's and you make the decisions and you control, you know, you control You're totally your self-determining in terms of the material to, you've done? You yeah. Were you ever talked I, into doing a movie? I, I've talked myself into doing things for money, well, you know, but, that's, but, then, but then I have, I, but I take responsibility for it. And I had, I've had great directors right. like Steven Spielberg and Ridley Scott. Sp and, Spielberg only did the first sequel. Yeah, he, he did, did the first, first one yeah. and the sequel, then and the, he was And then out. they was out of it. Just the opportunity to work with him. That was amazing. But um, Did that take forever? It took six months, I guess. Yeah. You know, yeah. I did a movie called Nine Months that also took six months back in those <laughs> days. You know, but I don't think I ever took off as a commercial movie but he star, really. What? Yeah. could have. Don't you think? Mm. You did Jurassic? I don't know. I don't know that I could have. I mean, I Or did you send did. signals to the business that you were not in that game? <laughs> I do people do that? Well, honestly, I don't think so. I don't think that I did. Mm -hmm. I think I was, you know, I think I kind of was like, I'll play ball. But I don't know that any of those movies were hits. You know, I was in Hannibal. That wasn't a huge hit. I don't know. You know, I really, I really don't know. But I do know that I really like what I do. You know, I like. You've made every kind of movie. 
I've made every kind of movie. You've made every yeah. kind of movie. Yeah, yeah. You've done movies with Steven Spielberg and uh -huh. Dinosaurs. That's right. You've done sequels where Anthony Hopkins chops his own hand off because uh -huh. he's so in love with you. Right. I've done um, independent dramas. P.T. Anderson movies. P.T. Anderson, yeah. Scary movies. Black couple, and white couple movies. Bad. Have I done Did any you do a black, black and white, white? I don't know what I have. They didn't have... remake Psycho in black and white. They did it in color. They did it in color, yeah. Okay. But that was a remake. That was a shot-by-shot -shot remake. No, that I know.